South Carolina is considering a proposal for electronic license plates. A Columbia-based company makes the plates which update remotely and can display messages sent by the DMV. News 13's Evan Donovan has more for us on this new technology. And Evan, would this mean South Carolinians would never have to go to the DMV again? <laughs> well, not quite, but it could cut down on the trips there significantly. The tags are made from electronic paper, and they're still too expensive right now for a mass rollout. But eventually, they could replace metal license plates altogether. Pretty soon, those exciting trips to the DMV could be few and far between. Columbia-based Compliance Innovations has developed an electronic license plate that the DMV can update remotely when you pay your registration. Or don't. Drivers we spoke to generally like the idea. It would make it more obvious um, for people who aren't driving legally for whatever reason. Well, I like the idea that they actually say expired if you have not paid your tax. The plates are powered by the vibrations in your car and can hold the images without constant need for power. They also receive updates in the cases of emergency, like if your car was stolen or involved in a crime something parents and law enforcement like. The things with the Amber Alert, I think, is a great idea. Several years ago, when the state started to put up the electronic bill billboards for the purposes of Amber Alert, uh, it automatically made me think about how that program has been very successful. Some drivers were concerned about privacy issues. It would also be the hacking into the systems that we have. Could somebody hack into your system and say, my computer or my tag was you know, expired, and it actually wasn't. And those issues go for the driver as well. A suspended license or uninsured or something like that is, is not necessarily public information. As for the cost, the company hopes to get the plate down to $100, but it's unclear whether drivers or the state would bear that extra expense. What are my benefits for this cost going up? Now, the tags are still in the proposal stages, so all of these details have yet to be worked out. But the company believes that they can save hundreds of millions of dollars through lower insurance for drivers and recovered revenue for the state.